Hello everybody, um, I would just like to introduce myself, my name's Mark, um, I live in the northeast of England, Red, sunny red car, this is the first time, this is my first video, um, I'm a machine plant operator in uh, our local steel works, and uh, oh God, this, this is Sasha, one of my girls. Yes, I'm not telling you to tell Um, all right, girls, dear, I'm a good girl. And my other one's Jana. Jana's very poorly, she's got panosteitis. She can't jump up, bless her. But uh, the sisters, they're only uh, three year old now. But uh, she's loved, thank you, girl. She's loved. Stay down. No, no. All right. <laughs> All right, calm down. Go on then. Go on then. Good girl. Yes, as I say, I live in the northeast of England. It's, it's, she's not going to stand. <laughs> um, I've been living now. I've just bought a lathe. I've been living now for about a month and a half. Um, I've been looking on YouTube on how to do things and set things up and. Uh, there's certain things I'm having a nightmare with, like farting off, good God. Um, but I enjoy making things. I love playing in my garage. As you can see, I've got plenty of gear here. Um, <clears throat> but I've learned a lot off quite a few of you. Um, Keith Fenner, fantastic, mate. You go into lots of... Uh, you go into the depths of things and... And it's, with you being a teacher, it's quite good because you put it in layman's terms for me because I'm dyslexic. And um, mind you, all, all your equations and all that kind of stuff, that's just Swahili to me. I haven't got a clue what all that is. But I'm learning. I'm, I'm getting there. I actually touch now and zero it in and uh, I'm learning. But, um, so I'm learning off you chaps and I appreciate it so much. Keep up the good work. It's brilliant. Thank you. And um, Tubal and Kane, um, again, sorry, you're, you're the teacher, sweet, uh, you're the teacher, uh, Tubal and Kane, you're the one that goes into all the depth and I thank you. Uh, Keith Fenner, your work is absolutely out of this world, you blow my mind with the things that you can do. And um, John. John the Bastard, <laughs> just down the road from me, um, about 50 miles away, outstanding man, I love all your work, I love your crack, um, but if you don't mind, I, uh, if on my videos I'll call you Geordie John, because that's what we are like in the North East, I don't, I don't like calling you Bastard. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so basically my lathe is a Viceroy lathe. Uh, I bought it from Glasgow, like I say, a couple of months ago. Um, I paid £230 for it, but it doesn't have the feed and the, the um, your screwing, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have all that. So what I do have is an old Viceroy that I've had for about six years, just stuck there on top of that green cupboard. Anyway, a friend of mine says, well, it's, you might as well... Uh, sort it out, get it done, um, but the bed's cracked, so I looked on eBay for a tailstock for it, found this lathe, bid on it, got it for £230, um, never looked back since, I'm in here, every single chance that I can get, uh, just making daft things, I'll show you some of the things that I've made, um, but I'm tidying all this all this uh, gear box up, the saddle, the, the for your threads and your feed. I've already done the headstock here. Took all this, all the gear in out, cleaned it all up. It's looking beautiful. Um, painted all that up, buffed all my uh, thing up there. Now I'll show you the. I'll show you the lathe, excuse me, 
Right, this is my Viceroy. Um, as you can see, there's nothing on it. So, that gearbox will go nicely on there. I've, like I say, I've stripped it all down. But um, I'll clean all that up. I've had the gearbox stripped down inside as well. It's all working perfectly. Um, I've made a new handle to go on to here. I've had all of that out. Um, I'll, all that will be tidy. I mean, I've tidied the headstock up. That's the old bed. There's a, a crack down there. It's all broken in between there. Uh, this is the headstock that I've tidied up. The saddle with the uh, the drive and that on it. Um, and I'll show you a couple of things that I've made. If you just bear with me, please. There we go. That's my lathe. We all know what that is. But I've made that and it fits perfectly. Um, there's marks all the way down it so it does fit perfectly. And it's got a bit of a, a recess on there on there so even if that is it's quite slack when it's touching that it's not. I've made these, made the balls, nailed it. That comes out obviously as you know. It's a bit tight for the fingers. That comes out. That one goes in. Um, and it works. I've tried it. It's brilliant. It's just set up for my for my ball machine at the moment. That's my ball machine. I've made that. I take the I take the slide off there. That sits on there. Sits on there. And uh, I've marked this up so I, I I know what size balls I'm making. And I've put one on there as well so I can do. Um, if that's in between centres, I can I can do like nice edges on the corners of a bar, you know, so it comes in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and another one of John, Geordie John. Mate, that is brilliant. For setting your work up, um, you put a small bit of stock in and it gives it oscillates. This is brilliant. You just touch it and it brings it back to... Uh, back to being straight again but I've milled all that on the lathe because I've actually made a milling like a, a milling bed a vertical slide it's actually the old one of these off that uh, old lathe there so that's pretty good I, I'll show you that in a minute uh, I made a bar, bar, bar in bar that was my very first attempt at lathing <laughs> um, I've sharpened all these up in the headstock and this one John for parting off I've actually just finished this this morning um, found an old piece of steel cut it all out um, drilled and tapped that that's an old drill just a, an old drill I've just thought I'd try it but I've got room now to drill a, a bigger hole and put a, a bigger um, centre drill in and sharpen that up but I've had a go at that this morning, and it is taking it out actually. It's, it, I feel a lot safer with that, to be honest with you, because I've bust so many blades, it's unbelievable. And I've done a lot of what you do, John, effing and blinding. <laughs> but, um, and this is my... Vertical slide. That part there... I've laid all that out because when you take this off, uh, it stands up like a little stubby bit. I'll show you. Because that's that's the same as. So that's what this is held on with. And like the three group screws goes into there and holds it. So that's what I've done with that. Uh, group screw, group screw. The one in there, that sits on there. So that'll turn 360. I've got the groove in there. That's just angle iron that I've made up, well mugged up. So that sits on the inside there. That part 
goes onto there, so slides up and down, which holds on. Now, put a thingy on there with the clamps. I've got videos of what I've been making, I'll try and get them on because at the moment I'm only using an iPhone, so I'm hoping this is going to work. I could be doing all this for nothing really. But anyway, that goes under there, up and down, slides that way, vertical. So it, it actually really works, and I'm quite pleased with it to be honest with you. But um, I'd love a milling machine. I really would. There's lots of things I'd like. I'd like the uh, quick release post. Can't afford it. So I've got to put up with bloody shims. They're a nightmare, them. But it doesn't put me off. Still love it. <coughs> so that's my introduction to myself and my girls, Sasha and Yana. They're always with me, they're always in the garage. Um, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, next time I'm going to try and get all the videos on of the bits and bobs that I've been making. Um, so please subscribe and let's hope we blossom from here. Thanks very much, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.